Satnam. Hello, uh, Satnam here at your service. And I just wanted to speak with you for a moment um, because I feel that many people are going through struggles. You know, as all of our technology has um, advanced around us, um, they, we have a lot of material comforts, um, especially here in the West, you know, but despite all of our advances in medicine and science and, and the comforts that we've created, people are still suffering, you know, um, mental illness, obesity, violence, it's all increased. So it makes you wonder, you know, are we really advancing as a species in spite of all these technological advances? We need to be advancing spiritually. We need to be advancing to a point where we can, you know, be compassionate for each other, you know, to a place where we feel safe, where we can be healthy and, you know, take care of each other. So without uh, getting on a soapbox here, I just wanted to share with you that um, there are ways of overcoming these types of mental illness and physical afflictions. Um, the ancient practice of yoga, as I teach Kundalini Yoga and the lineage of Yogi Bhajan, there are techniques to overcome these uh, types of, of uh, afflictions that you might go through. For example, if you get sleepy, that we have breath techniques that I teach, such as breath of fire. It's a rapid breath technique through the nose, navel pumps towards the spine, kind of like a dog panting, but through your nose, so it sounds like this. And this is a way that it gets your navel point, which is the third chakra, starts to activate that fire center. It's said to be both calming and energizing at the same time, which is kind of paradoxical, but what that means is it balances you. And for example, if you uh, needed to do some calming, you could watch my previous video explaining Kirtan Kriya, Satanama, and do some meditation that can calm that stress, calms the cortisol levels in the body, activating the parasympathetic nervous system. So therefore, you know, bringing you to a place where you can actually heal your body, you'll live longer, you know, lowering blood pressure and things like that. Um, really, you know, any part of your body where you're experiencing pain, um, you know, if you've actually had a, a serious injury, obviously you might need medical attention, but for the everyday aches and pains, stiffness, soreness, things like that, you know, we, we work out those parts of the body to therapeutically release that. Um, as I always recommend, neck rolls and back rolls, especially in the morning. Neck rolls, just roll your neck around, keep the shoulders relaxed on your back. You inhale as your head comes up, exhale as you roll through the chest, and then you go the opposite direction, rolling with shoulders relaxed and moving as slowly as you are comfortable. So you can go uh, a minute in each direction. You can count five rolls in each direction. Um, back rolls, I have room to do this. It's pretty simple. You wanna have your yoga mat down, maybe an extra blanket for cushioning, but you exhale as you roll back. You inhale as you roll up. I use my fingers interlaced around my knees and as always you want to take a deep inhale, expanding the chest and you roll up, complete exhale as you roll back. Like all yoga you want to stay conscious with your breath. And that way you can massage out your back muscles, you can you know, relieve tension from your neck, you don't have to suffer, that's my point. So. Come out to Kundalini Yoga and teach you these things and more. Satnam.